Hi, my name is Charlie with Hub Industrial. We got David. Hi. And today we're going to talk about cutting tables and making sure you have the knowledge to pick the right gear for your PPE. Okay, so today's topic is definitely cutting tables in the glass industry and the right gear needed to do the job safely. It's all about safety. You're dealing with raw edges of glass, glass breaks, a numerous amount of things can happen. But before we go into that, we got a new little thing we're going to do here at Hub. Do you know where the thumbs up gesture actually originated from? Charlie, do you know where? I learned today, but you go ahead and tell. Okay, it started in Rome when gladiators would be in the arena and they would literally give them a thumbs up or down, meaning live or die. Kind of crazy, right? The thumbs up gesture actually took a positive turn in 1917 when a fellow by the name of Arthur Guy wrote a book about an American soldier that served in World War I. So hey, thumbs up from your team here at Hub Industrial. Now, cutting tables, okay, what is needed? Well, let's first talk about what kind of takes place at a cutting table, first of all. Well, number one, you're dealing with raw glass. You're cutting glass to shapes and sizes and all shapes and forms, okay? So what is taking place? Well, the cutting table is usually about tor torso high, yep. all right, number one. So that adds risk to the torso area. Number two, there's a few issues with the gloves, for example. Well, I've got to have really good grip, okay, that's one. But two, I've got specialized oils that are on the glass that actually breaks down latex. Well, you say, why did you bring up latex? Well, oils break down latex. So you're forced to choose between a glove that gives good grip and protects my team, but pay a lot of money because I have to replace them every few hours or every day yep. to go look at another glove that might last longer, that's oil resistant, but doesn't give them the grip. One of the things I like about partnering with a company like Hub is that we actually specialize in your industry. And what that means is we come up with products unique for your applications. Now, when David was talking about the latex glove, you know, whether it breaks down, uh, how long it lasts, the different uh, elements of the glove, we've come up with our own line, our octopus cut armor gloves, very similar to the, you know, within the line of the cut armor family. Um, these gloves, we've got some tremendous feedback from uh, how well they last, uh, the durability, the, most importantly, the protection that they uh, offer. We have two different gloves to choose from. We have an A6, if I'm not mistaken, and an A9 as well to choose from. Um, we would like to get these samples out to you uh, so that you guys can try them, see if it works for your, your yeah. particular application. Yeah, and Charlie, uh, the reason why the Octopus Club is so uniquely designed, it's not just your typical latex palm. It has a textile format on the bottom, where it looks like checkers, okay, if you will, that allows, like, that's why it's called the octopus, because it's like, like suction cups that when it hits that glass, sure. where your typical traditional latex glove is crinkled grip. Now, what that does when you're dealing with glass, raw glass, guess what? Those crinkles catch on that raw edge and starts peeling back that latex. Now, what happens is, is when that oil gets in underneath that sliced latex, your glove starts peeling off all the faster. Now, I'm not saying that the, the oil doesn't break down the latex naturally anyway. I am saying when that glass starts slicing that glove, it happens faster. So if you're running through gloves real fast, that could be the issue there, Charlie. All right. Very good input. Yep. Very good input. Yeah, like, again, to continue on that segment, we you know have the cut armor jackets. Uh, we actually have a new design that we're going to be talking about bringing to you guys. Uh, this one, we've taken all the good positive notes of the old style and we've implemented a couple new changes. We've increased the cut level, yep. uh, we've increased the visibility, we've now got the high vis on the sleeves versus just on the back. Uh, we still have the breathability um, on the quarter zip That's and right. then the full protection on the uh, non-zipper uh, cut armor jackets. Yeah, so what makes this so unique for cutting tables, because today's topic is the cutting table line at a glass fabrication shop or a window and door manufacturer, is the fact that you, if you use a single garment, well, it's single panel in the torso. Basically, it's going to wear out a lot faster. So we've redeveloped to make sure that torso area is reinforced. Now, the one thing I want to communicate is probably everybody in the plant does not need the same exact garment That's right. that the cutting table is using. It can look the same, but it might not be the same, meaning that the torso area could have one less panel for everybody else in the plant. So we definitely, when we go into your site, we compartmentalize. We're your team there, so why pay more money for everybody else when they don't actually need that particular product. So that's where a guy like here, Charlie, he can help you out and kind of maneuver through that and get you what you need. 
That's right. That's very good points you made there. Uh, David, I don't know if we have any signing off messages for them, um, any more thumbs up, but uh, we'd like to say thank you again uh, from our team here at Hub to you guys for being a big part of our company. Um, we'll, we'll do our best to continue to create products that specialize your needs and your applications. Hey, have a great month. Sayonara. <laughs>